Welcome back to the channel. I actually completely forgot to do an intro for this video, so here I am doing this intro. Today we're going to be working on the Caddy, a nice quick little stereo swap which I think you guys will absolutely love. The van came with absolutely nothing, so I mean it didn't even have Bluetooth on the stereo, so any upgrade to the stereo would be a very big plus. But like I said, I did forget to do the intro and it is currently installed and it is insane. So let's cut here, let's go back to where we were at home, let's install this stereo. It's in the box. Fancy stereo. How am I meant to fit in here then? Okay, so today's job is to change the factory stereo, which is just this, into we're we going from that to that, hopefully. It looks about the same size, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Should fit. So that has CarPlay. Navigation, Bluetooth, a load of stuff. This is literally just audio. So turn it on. We've got like an aux cable to plug the phone into. You know, maybe some volume control, that's it. So yeah, let's crack on. Right, so we're gonna set up the tools in the back. We're gonna need that, but we're also gonna need this. I'm sure of it. It's nice because it's off the ground, right? That's all set up. This we're gonna use to try and get the trim around the edges. So let's make a start on that. So I believe if it's like any other Volkswagen, this trim comes off. Uh, by just pulling it off and then there will be one, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four screws, hopefully. Yep, right, that's uh, easy. Thanks for fog sliding. Uh, now we've got to guess the T size. Uh, what's your guess? 16. All right, I get a better, you know, when I'm looking at it, 20 maybe. I haven't got a 16, so it's got to be 20. Is it? Ooh, I've got the eyes, got the eyes. Okay, let's try this side. Give me the screws, you'll lose them. I probably will lose them, you're right. Mm. Number two. Number three. Number four. Alright, this should just pop out now. Yay! Wow. And then we've got it. the normal connector, which I think you've got to like push, yeah. And then this will be the radio. We should just pull out like so. Very dusty. Yeah. Um, oh, that's cool. It tells you tells you like the audio outputs and aux outputs. It's basically, like a whole a whole thing. And the fuse. And the fuse. Yeah. Okay, so that's the old one. Do like a quality test, right? Right, so that's the old one. And then we'll do a quality test on the new one. So, it's really solid. It sounds much nicer. And then obviously a lovely matte screen. So, this should be as simple as, so let's go through this, right? This is like an adapter. If you have a fancy, I'm guessing dab one, which we don't. So, um, we could probably just take this off and plug this straight into there. So you don't need that. This is the adapter from like Volkswagen's thing to this thing. So that's also cool. Uh, and then this is a reverse camera, I assume. I basically put it in there. It might be the other one. So we'll try that. We haven't got a reverse camera, so it doesn't matter. And I think this is steering wheel controls. So in theory, this should plug in there. As long as we line it up. Looks like these cables are getting in the way. Just putting them out of the way a bit. So there's guides in here for this clip. And I'm guessing you've got to just put the guides in. And then just press it down. So that's in now. Now before we fit this all up. Oh. Welcome to Volkswagen. That was fancy, wasn't it? That looks like a, f a proper Volkswagen now. <laughs> so, wow. wow. It's going already. Uh, let's have a look. Let's turn this off. So we got the keys, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna turn the ignition on. So it does go a bit brighter. And let's have a look, so set up. Wow, it does look good. It looks OEM. That's nice. It's really smooth, isn't it? Okay, we have to turn that turn off. That yeah. Touch screen, turn off. Equalizer manual, that's cool. Volume, maximum start of volume, BT audio. All ah, right, okay. So that's just pure sound, obviously. Language, sure. German, you know, your roots. Uh, units, we should probably set that. 
Okay, no units available, that's fine. Fracture system information. There you go if you need any of that. It did have a upgrade, update software thing, which is cool. So apps, app connect using USB, phone, awesome. Connect your phone, media, and guessing that, yeah. And then radio, we get FM, AM. If, what is that? What's one station like? 106.7? Is that yeah. free? So if we just try and tune in just to make sure everything works. The aerial in this car is diabolical anyway. We probably won't ever use it, but. Yeah, so we got youth com. Right, do you want to just test CarPlay? Uh, yeah, we haven't got a phone, so you go grab your phone. Basically, I want to test everything before we bolt it in finally. This looks really good as it is. All right, we've got a phone. It's only a, a baby cable, but I'm guessing go like home screen, right? Can we just plug it in, see what happens? Okay, Apple CarPlay. It's connecting. Yes, uh, it's not installed. Ah, there you go, Apple CarPlay. Mm. So you've got all your apps, Spotify, which is great, Waze, which is great. Obviously, this car never had um, CarPlay before. So, now we've got all that. Right, let's quickly bolt it up. We can go for a test drive and check everything works. So, there's a little lineup thing at the top. So, that's in now. Do you want to screw these in? Because I always drop these. It's such an upgrade from that, isn't it? This is super heavy as well, but it's like the same sort of styling. So you still get that, you know, VW look and feel. And obviously the menus and stuff look very VW, but then you get all the features. And it's not like this was ridiculously expensive like mine. This is very, very affordable and it's a good quality, isn't it? Final tightening. There we go, right, do you want to clip this all in? So I'd line it all up right from the top. Clip these two in, then these two, and then these two. So, yep. One there. One there, one there, one there, and then there's one here, and then one there. And there you go. And there you go. Wow. That looks really good, doesn't it? That looks good. Right, and then key on. So if you close the door, we'll lock it. We'll lock the van. Unlock the van. Like we're getting in. Put the key in. Turn it on. Wow, that's just quick. Straight into it. And then CarPlay, it should be nice and quick now. So where's the cable? So if you just leave the cable in there, I don't know where you're gonna put your phone. Maybe I have to get a longer cable. Yeah. Or you can dump it in there. So plug it in, should do it when it's locked. It's loading and it's on. Nice. It's nice and quick. So if you did it from completely off. Yes yeah, sir. Sweet. Right, let's go for a drive and uh, what we can do is we can mess around with some of the sound settings. So, in here, there's this option here. So, we'll mess around with the sound settings, go for a quick drive. And then, yeah, that's quite a good holder, isn't it? Right, and then we'll go straight back to uh, to seeing how we get on with it. Okay, here we go. Check out our cool needle suite. Oh, hell yeah. Radio's on. We're fired up and ready to go. Okay, we've gone for a little drive. And we've messed around with some of the sound settings. That was not great, but it's better than it was, I'd say. Uh, that's pretty much what we've ended up with. Um, bit of treble, less mid, and a little bit more bass. Um, but everything seems cool. Uh, you can see if we back out of this, CarPlay's still going. Uh, go back. There it is. We need to adjust some of the settings on Waze because um, it was making lots of funny announcements. Look at that, you can get Zoom, Teams, Spotify, all, just, all the music, and then you can click on this. Go back. Uh, Connect it, you can go to phone, carplay, apps, take it there, set up to all these other settings. So, yeah, all in all, it's really, really good. We need to adjust some of these settings. Like so, messing with some of the settings, this is cool. So, you can see, turn the side lights on, all these are the same red as that, which is nice. Turn this off, bring that. And then, obviously, it dims the screen. I'm sure I saw something screen brightness. You can have brightest. I wonder what that looks like. Right, I don't know what that is. Oh, that's no, we don't want that. Brighter, moderate, darker, darkest. Yeah. So anyway, um, on here there is an appearance tab for like automatic or always dark or always light. So you go like dark mode, right? Dark maps. I thought it was this sensor up there, but I don't know if I like I can't get it dark enough. But we know this works. 
lights are on, so nothing. Hmm, interesting. Suggestions, album art. Yeah, we'll have, a, we'll have more of a play. All right, here we are on the road. We've got all the music going, well, not at the moment because copyright. And uh, the maps are going and everything like that. We've just put on um, directions back to home. And it's just like, obviously we're not going home yet, we're just testing it, but everything's working. We've changed some of the settings on Waze as well, so it doesn't just announce random things. And it's, yeah, it's amazing. Everything's working as it should, and I just can't believe how quick that was. Okay, we're parked up. I did want to show you this. So, if you reverse, obviously we haven't got a camera plugged in at the moment, but it's all there, and it's cool that it says look safe to move, you know, everything looks like OEM um, BW, so that's great. And this is the cute little place we found. So we parked the van up. It's looking nice, isn't it? <laughs> it literally says there no parking, but honestly, it's on be here two seconds. So I'm so, so happy we finally got a decent stereo in the uh, the caddy now. Obviously having CarPlay and lo all those other features is great. Not for only for M, but you know, if I'm ever driving this thing, just plug the phone in and it's got all those features which we didn't have before. So for those who didn't know, this was actually a start line van. So that means it comes with absolutely nothing from factory. So not even air con. <laughs> so <laughs> it's going to be a massive, massive task trying to add loads of stuff to this thing. But it seems from the research that I've been doing pretty simple to, you know, add in auto lights, auto wipers, obviously change the stereo, which we've done today. So this is the start. This is the first hands-on we've had with the caddy and it only took us five minutes to do it. So if you are thinking about changing the stereo then do it but it literally takes five seconds you saw how quick was that i didn't actually expect it to be that quick it's like typical uh, vw stuff isn't it like there's so many of them on the road that people you know so many people make stuff for it so look at this bird turd can't escape them anyway guys thank you all for watching we're gonna head back now um it is an absolutely beautiful sunset right there and i'll catch you guys in the next video